Two powerful troll kings ruled. Vorgakalan was master of the west, and the king of Sulis was master of the east. Both troll kings had their sorrows. Vorgakalan had a disobedient son named the Horseman, and the king of Sulis had eight rambunctious daughters. One warm spring evening, the sisters decided to go down to the coast at Landagu to dance and swim in the moonlight. The horseman caught a glimpse of the sisters bathing in the sea and immediately fell madly in love with the oldest sister, named Lekamea. Enchanted by her beauty, the horseman decided to steal her away that same night. The story begins in Lofoten, with the majestic landmark Vogakan, which has pointed the way for sailors to Lofoten's attractive fishing waters near Henningsvar through all times. Such characteristic mountain formations have been treasured landmarks for many Vikings, fishermen and travelers along Nordvegen, the way to the north, and embody many legends and myths. The mountains, help travelers remember their route along the 350 kilometers of sea between Lekemaia and Volgakan, along a coastline that can be capricious but also strikingly beautiful. A unique natural and cultural treasure located right in the heart of Norway. Magical Helgeland. With his cape slung around his shoulders, the horseman rushed southward to kidnap Lekemea. But it did not take long before the young girls noticed his approach and took to flight. The seven youngest sisters realized quickly that there was no escape and gave up fleeing when they reached Ulsterhug, while Lekemea continued her desperate flight south. Lekemea was light on her feet and managed to stay ahead of her violent pursuer. This made the horseman furious. He would rather see Lekamea die than let her get away. The king of the Semna Mountains had been anxiously watching the wild chase, and when the horseman set an arrow to his bow, the king threw his hat in the path of the arrow. The arrow went right through the hat, which fell into the sea at Turke, while Lekamea slipped away to safety. As the legend says, the king of Sulis's seven youngest daughters can be seen lying side by side near the city of Sandjesjoen in Alsterhoog. The mountain range is a powerful sight from the sea level, and for hikers, a trip across the peaks is an unforgettable experience. Marked trails show the way from sister to sister, who richly reward their visitors with a breathtaking view of Helgeland in all its glory. Just outside the coastal city of Brunnesund, 
scarcely an arrow's flight from the southern borders of Helgeland, the king of Sumner's troll hat floats on the surface of the sea. With its famous cavity eroded by the sea thousands of years ago, Torghattan is one of the world's most distinct and well-known mountains, designated as the region's most important site. This fabled mountain was described as the unsleeping eye by the poet-priest Petter Das, the eye that watches over the people and riches of Nordland and an outstanding coastal landscape. Helgeland's lush skerries, with more than 12,000 small and large islands, islets and reefs, lie as an oasis of visual impressions and attractions, tempting more and more island hoppers out at sea. An open sea and abundant opportunities for fishing make the Helgeland coast an El Dorado for those interested in boating and fishing, while sheltered bays and pure waters are ideal for paddling and diving. Speedboats and ferries with frequent departures make it easy to explore the realm of a thousand islands, where a flat terrain and lightly trafficked roads have made bicycling a popular way to get around. And it will not be steep hills that take your breath away, but the visual impressions and the unique nature experiences. The Vega Islands are for many a popular stop when island hopping along the Helgeland coast. Here you will find varied vegetation with rich and abundant animal and bird life and one of Norway's largest eider duck colonies. This has earned the scenic Vega archipelago a spot on UNESCO's prestigious World Heritage List in recognition of a thousand year old tradition of down and egg production in a weathered and harsh sea climate. At Vega's Ida Duck Museum, the E-House, you can experience an extensive exhibition showing the history of the Ida Duck utilized as domestic animals. This unique tradition can also be experienced firsthand. On the outlying island of Lonan, it is possible to take daytime excursions in the realm of the Ida Duck or to live together with Ida keepers and participate in their daily work. With the legend and Helgeland Mountains as our guide, we end our journey in the northern part of Trondelag on the idyllic island Leka. This is the only place in Norway where you can take a geological trip into the Earth's interior, from the seafloor into the mantle, earning it the status of Norway's geological national monument. The island's unique and diverse rocks have been a puzzle for scientists. Today, we know that Leka was created as a slanted, broken-off piece of the North American oceanic crust some 500 million years ago. Leka has been inhabited for over 10,000 years, as evidenced by Stone Age relics, cave paintings, burial mounds, legends and stories. King Herlaug's Grave Mound is the country's biggest ship burial mound. For over 1,000 years, it has represented King Herlaug's final declaration of love to Leka by letting himself be buried alive rather than surrendering his beautiful kingdom. 
Laker is most widely known for the Sea Eagle kidnapping in 1932, where three-year-old Svanhild was carried off by a sea eagle to its nest, high up in the Red Mountains. The nights of spring are short in Helgeland, and at the very moment the sun rose above the mountains, all the trolls turned to stone. Vorgekallen forever sits on his inexorable throne at Vesthave in Lofoten. The horseman still stands with his cape over his shoulders at Hesmona, and the seven sisters rest safely at Alsterhoek. Penetrated by the horseman's sharp arrow, Durkatten bobs in the sea just off the coast of Brunesen, while Lekamea ended her escape on the southern point of Leka Island. And so shall they forever remain. The narratives of Helgeland and the region's mighty nature and mountain formations are numerous and nuanced. This old tradition of legends and myths echo a diverse region with a lot to offer its visitors. Picturesque surroundings holds memories of Helgeland's long past with a rich culture and strong tradition that are still being kept alive. A history a culture and an inherited tradition embodied in the landscape and atmosphere of hospitable Helgeland. And not to forget in the people of Helgeland themselves. Would you like to experience a true fairy tale kingdom? Be enchanted by the magic of Helgeland. Thank you.